Hello and Happy New Year. It is so good to be back. I took a little bit of break, I think like two weeks off just to really kind of get my creative juices going again. Of course, to spend some time with family and just really enjoy the holidays. But it is great to be back with you today and thank you for showing up too. Let's get going on those seven outfit formulas with jeans. Now these are winter outfits. So I am styling coats with all of them, but I want to show you the outfit itself. I'm styling them all with basically one pair of jeans. I did swap out one and I'll tell you why in a minute. But for six of the seven outfits, I'm using the pair of jeans actually that I'm wearing right now. These are AG jeans. They're the Mary AG, just a straight leg jean. And here's the thing, eventually I'm going to do a video about how to find the best jeans for you. Would you like that? If you would, let me know. <laughs> but I'm planning on doing a video on denim for spring and how to find some great jeans for you. But honestly, the best tip is you just have to try on a lot of jeans. And after trying on a lot of jeans, these are my favorite jeans. They're just a true classic straight leg, you know, straight from the hip all the way down and I love that. So that's what I'll be showing most of these outfits with. Now we're gonna start at the most casual and go to, I guess, a little bit more dressy as we go through these. And by the way, next week I will be sharing seven or eight, maybe even nine more style formulas for winter with not jeans. <laughs> So I have lots of outfits next week with everything except jeans, same kind of format we're doing today. So this first outfit is just a sweatshirt and jeans, but I like to call this not your husband's sweatshirt <laughs> because this is really gonna set you apart from your man because it's got puffed sleeves. Plus it's in a beautiful, you know, rosy pink color. So I really like that, but I'm just wearing jeans and a sweatshirt. So it's really basic, but I've worn my Chelsea boots here, just some leather Chelsea boots. I actually wore this same outfit to the mall recently and I got compliments on this sweatshirt in every store I went in. Everybody loved it. Um, I know it's a little scary. Uh, the first time I tried this on with these puff sleeves was a little scary, but it, it works. And so give it a try, they're very on trend and it's just fun. And so the tip here is for this formula, sweatshirt plus jeans plus boots, or you could do sneakers. The tip is to wear an, a different kind of sweatshirt. Wear something that's a little bit more modern, a little bit more in style, and perhaps a little bit more feminine. I had a reader recently at my blog tell me, I think she wrote me an email actually, and said that she's kind of made it a personal challenge to always put her outfit together in a way that if her, her husband couldn't wear it. <laughs> In other words, we wear a lot of menswear inspired things these days, but you know, I'm all for looking feminine, especially in this day when honestly our gender, you know, are kind of all over the place and I'm not really a fan and I want to look like a woman. And so I think it's really smart to wear a sweatshirt that makes you look like a woman. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> Now to top this first outfit, I just put on my black puffer jacket. This one's by Barber, just, you know, whatever nice warm coat you need to wear. I did add a scarf that has a little bit of that pink color too, just to add, you know, a little something to this outfit and pull it all together. All right, let's go on to outfit number two. Outfit number two is very basic also. It's just a sweater and jeans. And you know, that's a, a formula that I bet you wear a lot of, but we are going to soup it up just a little bit. The first thing is the choice of sweater. And here I've chosen a sweater with a design on the front. It's a beautiful picture of a hummingbird. Don't you love this? This sweater is by Sundance and it's a not really new to me company. I've gotten their catalog for a long time, but uh, this is the first purchase I made at Sundance because I saw this in the front of their catalog and I just loved it. It's so striking. And so maybe that's my tip is to put together a jeans and sweater outfit with a sweater that's a little different, that maybe it has a different pattern or it's a new color for you, or it has a pretty design like this one, but don't stop there. I think the next step is to perhaps tuck it in. This sweater is a little oversized. I had to get a large instead of a medium that I really needed because it's the only one they had in the store and I wanted the sweater. So I went ahead and bought the large with the intention of giving it a little front tuck like I've done and adding a belt. Just that hardware there at your midsection really elevates this outfit. 
Now I've worn some great brown boots here. They have a little bit of a heel and a pointy toe. And then I've worn a belt in the same color brown. So it really just ties it all together. You know, if you don't have belt and shoes the same color, it's okay, don't, don't worry about that. But I do think that belt is a really great way to tie this outfit together. For my coat on this one, I wore my red overcoat, my red wool blend overcoat, because I just think it looks so fun to have that little bit of red and the hummingbird poking through that red coat and plus otherwise this outfit is almost monochromatic and so I just think it looks really sharp this way. The next outfit is the one I actually have on right now and that is the formula is jeans plus blouse plus cardigan. Now you know what I realize cardigans like this are not so much in anymore but I think this is a classic it's just a classic open front straight lapel cardigan and this one's cashmere i've had it in my closet for several years now it is not going anywhere i'm going to continue to wear it if you have things like that that are really investment pieces that you've you know you've put some money into it's a nice fabric and maybe someone tells you it's not in style here's the thing you want to wear it in a stylish way so what i've done here is once again i've tucked that blouse and added a belt I've worn a blouse that has a modern cut, has that little bit of a ruffle that's very on trend. And I've worn these straight leg jeans, which are very on trend. So if you'll take that classic piece out of your closet that maybe someone said, oh, that's out of style. But if it's classic, if you will add it to some pieces that are very contemporary, very on trend, then you absolutely can wear it. And this is one of my favorite style formulas, jeans plus blouse plus cardigan. And I'm not giving it up. Now at this particular time, I decided to add some heels. These are block low heels uh, by Ally. And so they're very comfortable. You of course could wear boots here. That would work perfectly too. And I added a nice chunky chain necklace. Now I've got something on different now, but in that outfit, I'm wearing a really nice chunky chain necklace. That's just so on trend once again. So the way I have brought this cardigan into what, 2023, is by just adding some really modern pieces. They don't have to be trendy pieces. These are just modern pieces, and I really think that's the key. To top this outfit, I just added my gray wool blend coat. It does have plenty of room in the sleeves to accommodate this sweater. You know, truly, that's what an overcoat is supposed to be. It's supposed to be roomy enough to accommodate even bulky under layers. So I, this is how I did this one. I think it works really nicely. You just want to make sure that your coat, this is car coat, you want to make sure that it's longer than your cardigan. My next outfit is, the, here's the formula, jeans plus fitted top plus loose fit blazer, so an oversized blazer. You know, blazers are still in, they are classic, and I'm so glad that we're wearing them for casual wear these days and they're not reserved for the office. But to really make it casual and to really make it work, especially at this time of year, I think, it's smart to have a slightly oversized blazer. Now you can find them really oversized, but this one is not. It's by Madewell. I think it's a nice trim fit, but it's just a little oversized. So it accommodates things like a sweater underneath. However, here I'm simply wearing a close fitting shell that has a little bit of a mock uh, turtleneck kind of thing going on. This is from Ann Taylor, the mock neck is. And of course it's sleeveless. And then I've just got on my jeans. Once again, I tucked and I belted. You don't have to, but honestly, ladies, if you're wearing something that you're gonna have something draping over you, you're gonna wear on a jacket or a cardigan, then I really suggest you try tucking and belting because what it does is it actually creates the illusion of a waist even if you don't have one. I don't have a great waist. I do have an hourglass shape, but these days I have a little bit more weight in my middle than I have in the past. And so I don't have a great waistline, but here under this jacket, it really makes my waist look even smaller to tuck that shirt and to belt it. Here I wore my gray suede booties to kind of match with that blazer, but you could wear camel or brown or black even. And then I've added that chunky chain necklace too. Now once again, I just pulled out my gray coat to wear over this. And that's how much room is in those sleeves. It really even accommodates that blazer really nicely. Now my next outfit is using one of those pieces that we all bought back in the fall because we were gonna do something with it in the winter and we forgot. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know I did. And that is a vest, a pullover vest. And I bet I know so many of my readers and viewers purchased these pullover vests back in the fall and maybe you wore them with just a t-shirt under it or like me maybe you wore it with nothing under it i, I didn't wear anything under mine but now i'm wearing a button-up shirt under mine and this is the one where i pulled out my light wash jeans because my sweater is kind of a light um, intensity and then i decided to wear this shirt that has that same beige in it then some blues and browns and I just thought it looks better. This works better for me and my coloring, my intensity levels with light wash jeans. So these are my Talbot straight leg light washed jeans. And I love the way this comes together. And this is definitely something I need to wear soon. <laughs> I've just forgotten. Now you don't have to wear a print. At first I was gonna put on a white shirt and that would absolutely work perfectly. But then I thought, you know what? You might wanna see something with a print. If you have a print shirt to wear under one of these vests, that's a great idea and I think it will absolutely work with your jeans. I did finish off the outfit by adding some uh, beige suede booties. These are lace up, kind of a hiking booty type you know, look. You wouldn't have to do that. You could wear something a little bit dressier if you wanted to, just whatever pulls together the outfit for you. I topped that look with my kind of a caramel colored puffer jacket, it has a faux fur hoodie, uh, trimmed hoodie on it that you can remove. So it's just a nice big puffer coat, really nice and warm, works really nicely over this outfit. Now let's not forget about turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are a great option at this time of year. So the next formula is jeans plus a turtleneck. And I decided to top the turtleneck with that blazer again. You certainly could top the turtleneck with a sweater like the one I'm wearing today, a cardigan, but I really love it with this blazer. And honestly, it's a little bit more comfortable to me, a little bit more airy, not quite so warm. This is a close fitting turtleneck, which is what I wanted. A ribbed turtleneck, very stretchy, lots of stretch in it. Wearing my true size though, and it's from Jay McLaughlin. It was on sale. This is a pretty teal color. No teal in that jacket, but it's just beige, gray, black, whatever. So it works really nicely with that teal turtleneck. And here I wore my sand colored suede booties. And once again, I did tuck that turtleneck and added a belt. You're gonna see that's what I do most of the time because it's just a great way to complete that outfit, pull it together and add a little polish. Now I decided I did need a little something at the neckline. So I added a little multi ring, uh, kind of a multi tiered necklace. It's from Chico's, I hope it's still available. Really lightweight, really pretty, just adds a little light and a little something up towards the neck. You know, as we get older, I think it's kind of important to maybe pull our jewelry up towards our neck, up towards our face where we're trying to draw the attention instead of having a pendant necklace that hangs real low and pulls attention down to our waistline. <laughs> also, I think it keeps the proportions of your outfit a little better to have your necklace end above the bust line. So it just really raises your, the sight uh, line and I think it just really is a nice way to accessorize this look. And for my last look, I'm wearing a shacket. This shacket is from Ever Eve. Of course, it's a black and white, big old nice plaid, buffalo plaid. Really nice, soft, it's very comfortable, you know, very long, full sleeves, really great. And I'm still wearing those same dark wash blue jeans. You could wear black jeans here. I've done that before with this particular shacket too, but I wanted you to see this with just normal dark wash blue jeans. I've added a pop of color here with a red V-neck cashmere sweater. You could of course do all sorts of things here. You could wear a white sweater, a black sweater, a gray sweater. I've done that before. So, so many ways to wear this. In fact, I think I posted yesterday on the blog a multitude of ways to wear this particular shacket. I actually have a freebie for my subscribers today, my email subscribers, not just the YouTube subscribers, but the email subscribers for Dress For My Day. You could get it daily as I post, Monday through Saturday, or you could just get it on Saturdays. And if you subscribe, then you have access to my printable library at my blog. And this week, my staff has helped me to put together all of these outfit formulas in a great way so that you can have them handy. You can print it out or you could just load it up on your phone or whatever you wanted to do so that you could keep these formulas in mind. So this last one, shacket plus sweater plus jeans plus booties, so easy, such a great look. 
but all of these are really easy. You know, my intention in doing this was that perhaps you've gotten in a rut as you've been styling, you know, through the fall and now into the winter, and you just needed a little bit of outfit inspiration, or maybe one of these, you know, you've never tried before, and maybe you've just not quite put together and it gave you a brand new idea. Also, I think it's a great idea to kind of put our wardrobe together with just two or three formulas in mind. So when you choose two or three style formulas that you just want to do on repeat, it makes it really easy to get dressed and it makes it really easy to shop for your wardrobe and build a wardrobe that accommodates those outfit formulas. So I hope this was helpful to you today. Like I said, next week we'll be doing the same thing, but without the jeans. <laughs> we'll be wearing different kinds of pants and skirts, dresses, all that sort of stuff in those outfit formulas next week. Let me know which of these is your favorite formula, the ones that are your go-to, and maybe a new one that you thought you will try. You, maybe you've got the things in your closet, but you just haven't been wearing them. If you haven't subscribed before, do that on your way out. Thanks, I'll see you next week.